discuss about how to set up a trial account for your SAP cloud integration suit. So now guys, one very important thing, whenever someone is speaking about a cloud integration suit, it's not just about only integration, okay? There are different, different kind of a mechanism or, or tools SAP provides, which helps you to integrate. So now I think cloud integration is a one part, okay, which is like here, do you see in the center? Then we see the API management. We see here your enterprising messaging. We see here your um, open connectors. So whenever, if you're talking about integration suit, it's like a umbrella of tools which SAP actually provide us. So I'm sure everyone, anytime start learning about SAP cloud integration, they actually want to practice it up. Now the important question come up, how to actually set it up into the system or how to actually proceed. Now, in case if you just look at here, I've already provided a document which actually just goes step by step, tells you how to set up a trial account. Let me just try to map this document into the system, okay? So, which will actually help you to this, uh, which will actually help you to set up your trial account. So, once you reach to this place, which is your account.hana.ondemand.com, so this is your front page, okay? So, this is a page from uh, from where your journey starts. In case if you have missed my previous session, as I've told you, if you go to Discovery Center from here, maybe if you go from Services, you go to the Service Catalog, and if I just talk about the Service Integration Suit, if I click here by Suit Integration Suit Service, so you will see that inside the Integration Suit, we have a bunch of tools which SAP provides, like whatever I was mentioning here into the slide, like your enterprising messaging, open connectors, integration advisor, cloud integration, API management. So whatever do you see here in this particular diagram, everything SAP Pro, as you will be able to see it here as such, okay? Now, if I come to this particular page, if you're for the first time, if you have to register it out, go to the overview page, you have to click on the register button, okay? And then once you come here, you will have a pop-up where you have to just populate your basic information, Okay, then you will have a, a mail coming up just to activate your account. And then might we have two important part is you have to validate or authenticate also using your mobile phone. Okay, so all this kind of a steps I have included into this document. Okay, so you will be able to see all the things here. Now comes some important part how actually we need to work into the system. I have, as I have already have a system with me. So I'll just do one thing. I'll just quickly use that uh, details. So again, I can just quickly copy this part. I will click on sign in. I click on continue. I'll just quickly provide my credentials here. Okay, perfect. So again, I think this is my first page where it, again, it talk about a global account. This is my trial account. Then I have regions, services, notification. Everything remains the same. I can just talk about even the documentation now, but we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll have this documentation and certification discussion in the upcoming sessions. Now, once I click on this trial home, Okay, so this kind of a page will come up. Once you click on go to your trial account, again, there will be pop-up come up if you're for the first time. And what will happen is you just need to make sure that you select the right region based on your requirement. Okay, so this kind of a pop-up will come up, which will ask you which region you want to select it out. Might be the region which I'm showing here in the screenshot can be different. Might be it just shows US East or might be just it shows Singapore. Okay, so the, region, different, uh, the regions can be shown but just choose based on the near one, which is near one uh, to your location. Okay, so in case of in US, I think it's a straightforward, you can go with US. In case of in India, I would suggest to go with the Singapore Azure. So once you click on the create account, this kind of a tile will be enabled for you in case if you want to edit out or anything, I think it's, it's very, very straightforward. Now, what next? Once you have created your sub account, what else we can see here? So whatever we have discussed, I think in our previous session about what is a directory, what is a sub account, okay? Then uh, what are what are entitlements here? You will be able to see all this kind of information here. Now, again, there are like important things which I want to discuss it here. Before I set up a trial account manually, SAP also provides you some kind of a concept which is known as a boosters, okay? So what is 
boosters. So SAP boosters are interactive setup guides to configure and consume platform services without any manual configurations. Okay. So now if I go quickly onto the boosters part, okay. And if I try to search based on integration suits, now you will be able to see there is a tile. If I click inside it, so again, SAP has given you some kind of mechanism. So you just need to click on start and automatically this will help you to set up your trial account. But what I would suggest is in case if you are for the first time, don't take this shortcut. Okay. In case you have created a multiple trial account and now you don't want to just uh, break your head. Okay. So you, what you can do is you can quickly come to the booster, click on start automatically. This, this will configure a trial account for you. But if you are for the first time, as I mentioned, what I would recommend is go step by step. Try to take the pain because once you are able to go through the service by own or how to actually the service work out for you, it becomes very easy in case we have to work with the next SP BTP capabilities here. Now, if I click here onto the integration suit. Now again, as I told you, this is your uh, uh, cloud foundry again, whatever the option you see might be, it will be subset of option, what I've shown you in the real time, because in our last session, we discussed about how does things looks in the real time, but here the option would be little of subset of it. Again, on the top page, you will have your journal cloud foundry, you know, uh, then again, details about key environments, entitlement, and all, all this sort of information as such here. Again, services, we have option of service marketplace, instances and subscription. You have a cloud foundry, uh, HTML application. If if you want to look at about the connectivity, because we're going to talk about this cloud connector real time use case. How does your cloud uh, integration tool gets integrated with the cloud connectors? Then we are going to talk about the security. What is your users? What is your role collection? What is your roles? Trust setting? Everything is everything is is, is very, very important. But now, guys, honestly, I would just keep my focus very, very specific here. Okay. You register yourself, create a trial account, and subscribe to SAP integration suit service, add capabilities, and that's it. Okay. Again, when I say add trial account and subscribe, maybe you have to add yourself to different different roles, but these are just simple three steps. I don't want to complicate for you. Honestly, if you just look at last few packs, how uh, complex it used to be to set up a trial account, but now I think it has become a very, very straightforward. So what are those steps? Let's look into the system here. So once you reach here, I think the first thing what you can do is if you come to this instances and subscription, okay, first time when you set up this trial account, only one service will be enabled automatically, which is SAP Business Application Studio. But that's okay, nothing we have to do here. What we have to simply do here is we have to just click on create, we have to start looking our service. Okay, so our service is integration suit. You will be able to choose integration suit service. You will be able to choose a plan and you will be able to create it. Okay, so once you're able to create that part, you will, your application will get listed here. That's the first part you have to do it out. Now, after that, what you have to do is you have to just look at some kind of a roles if it's enabled into your, uh, in the sub account or not. So how to do that particular part? Again, just go to the security part, go to the role collection. Okay, and then you just look at the role like your sub account administrator here. Okay, so we have that role available here. Let me just search it out in case you want to quickly search it here. Yes, to this kind of functionality. So just make sure that you are automatically get enabled account administrator. So here, what you have to do very straightforward is click on ID button. Just just type in your ID, uh, your email ID here, and you will be able to automatically it will be able to detect it. By default, it will just take a default identity provider. And once you have added these details, you will be able to save it out. Okay. Now, what is your second step? Again, we are going to come back into the role collection because we need to enable some roles. Then what you can do is you can go to the instances of subscription here. Then what you have to do is might you can just click on these three dots or you can just click on this uh, arrow button. 
Now again, if you're for the first time, I would really encourage you play around how much possible. Okay, click on this dot also, click on the edit, everything, whatever you can just try it out. Please play. Then click on a go to application. Here we have a few simple steps which we need to do it here. Okay, what are those steps? You need to add capabilities here. So now I have already added the capabilities. If I click on this manage capabilities, you will see all the different different kind of capabilities which SAP provide as part of integration suit. I'm going to use state form. If, if you're talking about a cloud integration, if you're talking about API management, integration advisor, trading partner management, open connector, and your integration assessment. And I think you should be happy to know that we are going to also discuss about API management and open connectors as a part of this particular project. Now, how does this particular screen uh, look like when you have to add capabilities? Let me just quickly go here into the this trial, this document also, which we have provided you. Okay, so this is like your page will come up. Okay, where you have to just click on this add capabilities button. And then you should be able to select it out. What are the different different kind of capabilities you do need for yourself might be it can be your integration API's open connectors. So whatever based on a usage, you will be able to choose that part out. Now, once you are able to choose it out, it will just take a few of the uh, few of uh, minutes to actually get enable it out. So it, this this will take time. I'll I'll quickly go back. Once you're able to do that particular part, there are different different kind of roles which you need to add to your user in case if you want to use this uh, this uh, your URL or this cloud integration tenants. What are those roles and where we need to enable it out? Again, we are going to the role collection here. In a role collection again, you, you can just quickly type integration. Okay, so now again, whatever the topics what we have discussed in a real time system like your PI administrator, integration provisioner, PI underscore business expert, PI underscore integration underscore developer. So all these different different roles you need to assign it to yourself. Okay. So you can just quickly click on this part. You can click on edit and you just need to add your email ID. And this is guys very, very important in case if you have to add or if you have to play with integration account. Okay, so in case we don't have this URL, you will not be able to play around with this integration URL. Now, again, there are different, different kind of roles which you need to enable it out. So you have to go one by one, okay? Okay, and click on edit and you should be able to add your user to it. Now, one important thing in case, if you want to create a custom role also again, and that's a very, very straightforward. Okay, so you see here, whatever the Z we have created, this is I have created just to enable one important role, which is your messaging dot send. I hope now you'll be able to relate it out when I was talking about last time IFL map. So this is the same note where you need to add your user. So this is very, very important thing. Okay, so again, let's let's recap quickly. What are those roles? One is your messaging send. My view, you can just try to create a custom role, whatever the name you want to give, and then add a role name messaging send, and in that you add your user. Then apart from it, we do have different different kind of a standard integration uh, roles like administrator, business expert, integration developer. All this you need to assign it. I'm sure people will have questions, Sam, like who will go check each one if everything is assigned properly or not. What you can also do is you can just go to the users here in case we have assigned all, all the roles in case we want to check it out here. So what you can do is you will be able to see that information here also. Okay, so if you come here, uh, again, click on that arrow button I just showed you. So here you will be able to see all the different different kind of a roles which is assigned to my user. Now, this is for the integration part. So similarly, might be in a later stage, we are going to discuss about other roles, which is critical for your API management open connectors, because you need to have the right roles in case if you want to play around with the functionalities. So these are the few things which you need to do it out for yourself. Now, what, what is next or what is the next important thing for us? So once you're able to have these proper roles, it might be you come here onto this tenant, you click on to this trial account and my it will take you to the, your new trial account where you're going to practice yourself everything. Just do remember that sometime it happens that after assigning the rules capability, sometimes things does not work out. 
might be what you can do is might be you can just refresh it, log out, log on, and just try again one more time. This is a one very very common thing which actually happens it out. Okay. So if you are able to do all this particular uh, steps which I have guided you here, you will be able to actually set up a trial account for yourself. Now one more bonus point, but I'm sure we are going to discuss about this thing later in a stage. In case if you want to practice or might be start simulating a request from outside. Now let's say in case if you want to send a request from a postman or a SOAP UI tool, you need to create some kind of a uh, your runtime integration also. Okay. So for that particular part, again, you need to enable one uh, runtime instance, which is your process integration runtime. Again, in the similar steps, it will actually generate one key for you. That key is very, very important because now anytime, anytime if I'm sending a request from outside, okay, so this key becomes very, very important for me. Okay, so this client ID client secret becomes very, very important for me to send a request. So please do take care of this particular part because this is this is going to the important step because you want to simulate your request from outside for your testing purpose. Okay. So guys, these are some few of the steps which you need to set up a trial account for yourself here. Okay.